Big fish. Big fish. Man, it's such a beautiful day out on the water. It's one of those things about coming musky fishing is that sometimes it's just about getting outside. It'd be really nice to catch fish. But man, is it delectably beautiful out here this morning. Just a stunner of a day so far. Whew. That sun's gonna come up. It's gonna get toasty warm. I'm gonna take my jacket off. Just beautiful. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Oh. Good morning, fellow wanderers. This is a beautiful morning. It's like 29 degrees out here right now. The water temps are right at 42 degrees. It is very cold. And this might be my last, last day of fishing, um, musky fishing of this season. I am trying to catch a big musky. I might go again, but who knows. 29 degrees this morning is pretty darn cold. And 42 degrees is not that far away from the high 30s. And the high 30s is basically the end of the musky season, at least for me. 
Interestingly enough, though, I already saw... I believe it was a fish this morning. I mean, I don't think it was an otter. I'm pretty sure it was a fish. And it tailed right out of the water. It was super cool. So it gave me uh, some confidence that I might actually catch something today. I came to a spot that's not known, not known for musky, but rarely when you do catch a musky, they're usually big. So I'm thinking, I kind of want to try for a big one. If I could get one big musky today, that would be, that would be an awesome day. Although, I'd probably be happy with anything. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video today, but I might. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, that was a fish. Well, since we, uh, since we just got a bite, well, two bites, one was a small fish, but one was a decent fish, we're gonna get the fly rod out. Sometimes you gotta change that presentation up and the fly hangs so nicely. It's almost like a glide bait for a traditional bait fishermen, gear fishermen, so. So we'll be right back. We're gonna we're gonna tie up a fly and we're gonna we're gonna sling a couple. I got this guy and I got this guy. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with this guy because I like the way he moves in the water. I like this fly, although it's gonna start to get a little bit messed up. But I really like that fly. Maybe I'll come back to this guy later. Gosh, that'd be awesome to get one on the fly. Nice. Love me knots. I love me some knots. Come on. Alright guys, we just got our first fish of the day. Really, really nice pike right here. I thought it was a muskie, but you know what? I gotta be happy with what I get and this is a nice fish. So I'm gonna hold her up and then we're gonna revive her and uh, we're gonna get on our way. Right there guys.
beautiful fish to start the morning. Beautiful fish, just lovely. Whew. That was an awesome fish to start the day. Been fishing for about two, three hours, and uh, that was the uh, that might be the only fish we catch today. But if the, if so, I'm okay with that. That was awesome. Nice. That was sick. So I'm exploring today a spot that I've never been to before, and uh, this is this beautiful, beautiful, crystal clear water right here. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if there's glare or not for you. But I was thinking to myself, man, this would be a great spot for an eagle to come down and just smash a pike. Because I actually watched a pike right under me. And I looked up, and there's a bald eagle flying right over there. And I was thinking to myself, what a good spot to come down and just eat, eat, eat all the pike in the world. So cool. It's very rare for there to be water up here that's so clear. Usually it's so tannin stained you can't see anything. So when I get clear water like this, I always explore. I already saw a couple, couple small pike in here and I was thinking maybe I'll return in, maybe return in the springtime sure there might be pike or muskie that hold in here maybe spawn in the spring who knows Duh! big fish big fish Got one. Going on the freaking figure eight, baby. All right, guys, right there. Not expect to catch fish today. Huh. Awesome! Did not expect to catch fish. Got one. Oh, she's barely hooked.
Nice musky. Death paws. Beautiful fish. Again, I wasn't really expecting anything today. Wasn't expecting anything to happen, but uh, that's now two. That fish came on a fouled lure. That was a fouled death pause. It was on the on the surface, and I I ripped it along, and uh, it was all all tangled up on its own line. And uh, that fish came up and hit it on the surface, and I was like, "What? No way!" And then uh, a moment later, it it hit it again. <laughs> Oh wow, I wasn't expecting to make a video today. Maybe I will. Um, so far today I've caught fish on two entirely new lures. That fish came on this guy right here. I had to uh, cut my line because things were getting weird, but that guy came right there. First time I've caught a fish on this. All year I've wanted to throw it, and uh, we finally got a solo outing and uh, got one. Guess I'll also show you the other fish, that, the other lure that caught a fish. This guy right here. He's a really cool. I love these uh, these medusas. Um, I was pumping that along earlier on that uh, figure eight, and uh, good things happened, huh? Here we go. Guys, got another little greenie right here. Super pretty little musky. <laughs> All right. I can't hardly see from that sun. It's so bright out here. It is blasting cold, but the sun came out, and uh, we just got ourselves our third muskie of the day. That's three bites, three fish, so three for three. I'm pretty amazed with that because I was not even gonna make a video today. There's 14 mile an hour winds, 20 mile an hour winds at times. You guys probably can't even hear me. So, uh, maybe the fish like that. <laughs> All right guys, let's, uh, let's keep rolling and see what other things happened today. I didn't even do an intro today. Guys, I didn't do an intro. I wasn't even expecting to catch fish. I haven't done any B-roll. Who knows? <laughs> I just had a cut. 
all these hooks because I've got to save them fish. She was hooked bad and I wanted to make sure we got her back in the water. Oh my gosh. We got, that uh, has to be a pike. Beautiful fish. Pretty, pretty little pike. There she goes. <laughs> wow, that water is so cold. Holy shnack, is it's cold. Whew. Wasn't really expecting to catch anything. Especially not on this little doohicker. Sick. Wasn't expecting to catch one of these little beauties today. Check him out. Gosh, he's glorious. Beautiful. There she goes. Alright guys, so I've found myself to a, a little uh, little area to get away from the wind. I'm still rowing right now, so that's why I'm kind of moving all over the place. Um, there you go, that's probably better. So, I didn't have any expectations today. I It was 28 degrees last night, 12 inches of snow, like... I don't know, a week and a half ago. No, maybe a week ago. I'm not really sure. Anyways, I had no expectations today. Water temps are 42 degrees. It's cold. And we have caught a nice pike, a medium pike, and also a beautiful, pretty, pretty, pretty musky. Um, all casting. I'm, I'm, I'm casting moving baits um, I'm just super surprised I mean it's I would call November winter in the upper peninsula um, and there's no there's no leaves anywhere but I'm out here and right now because it's a it's a warm day today um, but early 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 winter maybe you can call this late fall but uh we got three fish i'm blown away guys i hope you're i hope you're enjoying this i wasn't even gonna i wasn't even gonna make a video today i wasn't even gonna make a video because i didn't think it would happen currently directly where i'm at right here is where we just got that musky let's see what the water temp says right now Can you see that? Ooh, that is, it says 44. 
So, it's gone up two degrees since this morning. But still, 44 degrees is cold water. All right, let's go see if we can catch more fish, head on home, and have a wonderful, wonderful uh, end to the weekend. All right, guys, let's roll.